this is a this is totally a, a chance segue, but in this uh, thought experiment of somebody having all the money in the world, you mentioned nobody having hoes and rakes, and rakes is the key word here. So when I was reading from Bacteria to Bachenbach, I came across an object that I had not known to exist because I'm not a Northeasterner like you, which is a clam rake. Clam rake, and, yeah. And I guess this is a good time to return back to that thread we were on where you said that evolution evolves. And then you didn't use these terms, but in, in the book you distinguish between bottom-up and top-down design. And one of this really great ideas in from bacteria to Bachenbach is that Aliens or Martians, if they came to our planet, they would be much more excited to find a clam rake, which is just a very simple two material object, than they would to find a clam, which is the height of complexity, essentially. Yeah, yeah. And I'm wondering if you could ex explain that intuition because it's a good one and it's, it's really. Yes. Um, I mentioned David Deutsch's. The Great Monotony, and, and he has some nice things to say about that. Um, before there was life, you didn't have pockets of uh, pure iron attached to shiny, smooth pieces of wood anywhere. You couldn't. I mean, that that combination of molecules of, of atoms is just an extremely improbable uh, as good as the impossible not in the adjacent yeah. possible exactly until yeah. until you have tool makers and you think of all the labor that goes into the mining iron ore and turning it into into iron or into steel and uh, shaping a wooden branch, this is this is a very sophisticated bit of putting together of elements that you would never find on a lifeless planet. Uh, you, you, if you found that on a lifeless planet, you'd know that, well, it may be lifeless now, but something pretty darn clever was here at some point doing some things. Because... That's just not a a not a possible object, uh, even though it's very simple. Its very simplicity is is uh, is a sign. Its purity, if you like, is a sign of its uh, sophistication. Mm -hmm.